Yo, welcome to the Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review. Today, Thursday, September 17, 2020. The topic before us says, Becoming an Exemplary Leader, Part 1. Let us pray. Our Father and our Lord, we are grateful for life. We are grateful for your help. We are grateful for making it possible for us to study your word and the notes of your son, our Father and the Lord. Pastor Enoch Adija Redeboy, we ask, O oh Lord, that you please teach us yourself. O oh Lord, let your word indeed profit us. Let us illuminate, let it illuminate our hearts indeed, O oh Lord, to the glory of your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty and holy name we have prayed. Amen. You're welcome once again. It's the review of the Open Heavens for today. The topic is Becoming an Exemplary Leader, Part 1. Our Bible reading for today is taken from Genesis chapter 11, verse 1 to 4. Genesis chapter 11, verse 1 to 4. And I read from the King James Version. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, and they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime they had for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build us a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. The memory verse is taken from Genesis chapter 11, verse 3 of the text that we just read. It says, And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime they had for mortar. start off by looking at the topic, taking it apart, and then looking at the notes of our Father and the Lord. So, simply put, leadership can be described as influencing others, thinking and actions. So, when you can influence others, when you can influence their thinking and their actions, um, that's, that's, a form, that's leadership in essence. And um, the word exemplary describes, you know, when you have a model, a desired model, so some, something is um, exemplary, an exemplary leader is someone who can influence people, can influence their thinking, their actions, to do the right thing, and he himself, or she herself, is a role model, so you're not only just telling people what to do, you're also doing and showing them how it should be done. Let us make brick. Now that's a statement from the scripture that we just read. Let us make brick. And it resonates with what God said when he was going to make man. When he was going to make man, he said, let us make man. So, the greatest example of an exemplary leader that we could think of, of course, is God. And we see his style. He also said, let us. So, these people that were going to build this great city, this great tower, uh, that we read in our, in our Bible reading for today, they also said, let us. So, a leader uses this kind of words to ensure that he gets his people to follow through to believe in the vision and that they run at it together. So we see how it relates closely with how God said the same thing in Genesis 1, 26. So a leader not only shows the way, the leader also goes the way. You want to become an exemplary leader, you are not only called to show people the way, you have to also go along the way with them. It should be a conversation of let us just you go ahead. Now there are more lessons. We see innovation here. So these are people who started to use bricks in place of stones. So in their times, it was stones that people were using to build. But they brought about the innovation of burning.
using bricks and you know followers would always be attracted to a leader who can innovate who can show new ways and better ways of doing things or achieving set goals and objectives so are you seeking to be an exemplary leader then you should be seeking to be an innovative one not only breaks for stones they also had slime for mortar so mortar was what was used primarily in their days but they innovated with slime we saw that in Genesis 11 3 then secondly an exemplary leader is one who practices solutions thinking solutions thinking how many of us have come across people who start their responses to anything with no I know a couple of people like that and I usually tell them why do you always start whatever it is you want to say with no you know and by default they just say no can we do no they won't it will be hard for them to see the the, the positive parts of things you know to see solutions in challenges such mindset. We should have a positive mindset and we should have the mindset that brings about solutions thinking. Now the Holy Spirit gives solutions. The Holy Spirit is the greatest solution provider. So why don't you ask him today, are you faced with any challenge? Are you faced with anything that seems, any situation that seems so difficult? Just ask him something I've experienced before. And I've heard the Lord has shared several examples of this as well. How the Holy Spirit will show him a way out of situations. You can do the same. And I can assure you that you won't be let down. So we don't have to plead for loyalty. A number of times you hear people saying, I need your loyalty. I need you to be loyal to me. If you could take these boxes, if you're innovative, if you're a solutions thinker, if you really have the Holy Spirit to show you the way, and if you not only tell your people the way, but you show, you go along with them and show them, I tell you that you won't have to strive for their loyalty. It will be a given. You know, um, if I was studying this, I recall sometime in junior secondary school when I got into a fight, and you know, I was punished along the day that boy that we got into this fight and then I happened to be the class captain of my class and we were given so it was a government school and we were given this portion to cut grass and I wasn't so used to this and I was struggling and before I knew it first person, second person and the entire class had come out it wasn't like it was a break period and everybody was with me they all had their cutlasses and they were cutting with me and when the teacher came back and saw what was happening he said ah, how many people were punished how many people are cutting grass and the students my classmates were like well we figured that we should help our class leader and he said okay you guys can go back to your class including your class teacher and unfortunately they left the other young man there he said you must be a good person it must be that it's this boy that made you be able to fight and for your classmates who have come out, what I'm saying in essence is if you're a good leader, you do not have to ask for loyalty. As our friend Lord has rightly said, they will, your followers will be loyal to you so long as they know that you're not just a leader in, in, in speech, but one in action as well. And as I round off on this, I tell us that you need the Holy Spirit if you Savior, please.
cleanse my sins with your blood and write my name in the book of life. In Jesus' name we've prayed. That's all you need to say. And I say congratulations to you if you said this prayer. I can assure you that you've been welcomed into the family of the Almighty God. And that's the greatest honor that any human can have. So congratulations once again. Please share your details with us. We'll be sharing it with our Father in the Lord. We'll be praying for you. And I can assure you that you begin to see great and mighty testimonies and miracles as well in your life. So do you want to go beyond just being an ordinary leader? Do you want to be an exemplary leader? Go beyond the ordinary always. Thank you for your time. Thank you for listening. We look forward to another time, another refreshing time.